California at all. I mean, they don't even live. They don't even live. The thing about localism versus 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 globalism. Because you can you can go down to Sacramento in what three hours from where I am, but Washington. (laughs) Exactly. I have said that a million times. It's true. I have said that a million times. The closer you are to to the to the the capital, the freer generally you are. Because you know, what happens is that in many small countries. If people riot because the government's doing something stupid, the soldiers in a small country probably won't fire on the crowd because that might be their mother, their brother, or cousin. One of the things that we bring up, huh? One of the things that we like to bring up, it's like we like to bring it up. It goes, whether you agree with it or not, seven hundred and fifty thousand, you know, Los Angeles County women marched in L.A. on Jan- like January eighth this year. Yeah. They got like three minutes of airtime, even locally. Because so it was, was this recently? I thought the women's movement fell apart because of charges of anti-Semitism. No, no. This, because this was not connected to the one in Washington. It was a separate one. That was a, well. It's a, it's the same movement, but here in Los Angeles, it what it didn't have that connection apparently. I mean, originally they kicked out all the Jews on board of the of the women's group because they didn't like Jews. No. Well, Okay, okay, again, just, neither just neither just here nor there. Seven hundred yeah. seven hundred and fifty thousand of the march. Yeah. No one cares. Doesn't well, doesn't move. In a smaller country, they would. Doesn't right. It doesn't move. It it doesn't in a considering the entirety of the United States, it doesn't move the needle. Yeah. And if, if you're talking about a country the size of California, that does move the needle. The vote the vote even the, the vote even in the red part in the red portions of the state yeah. that we do recognize. Yeah. I mean it's like have value. It's like things that are important to them. If you look at like the platform, things that are important to them like guns and so forth. Yeah. We're already at, at that point that goes, why don't we handle those di- from a district by district basis? If if people wait well, wait uh, district by district uh, that would be like a congressional district type thing. Well, uh, as a as a setup now, but basically we're talking about state district, state districts in the state legislature. Yeah, you, it's like, you well you wouldn't one of them you would get rid of you get simple, rid of the federal. Well, simple. So you probably keep the the current assembly and senate. Okay. Well, okay. Depending on the vote of the people of the, the people of California, well, but you, you but it's, it's one of those things where it's like if the people if the people in Santa Monica don't want concealed carry. Yeah. That's kind of their house. They have a right not to they have a right to say we would we would rather not have that here. Wait, 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 wait. If the people well, but recently hang tough, the governor hang tough, hang tough. If the people if the people if the people in Riverside County say we do, the people in Santa Monica have no right to tell them what to do. Now that didn't happen recently with rent control. Uh, it does happen. They, got, they, uh, they all the uh, all the all the ballot measures for rent control laws. So what does a governor do? He becomes undemocratic well, and makes it for yeah. everybody. Nobody. It's like, and under the current system, we're able to do. We're much more able to do that. I mean, we, but, you know, know, do you have a constitution no, that no, will allow, will allow yeah. that? That, that you no, can't do something nice. statewide. Well, unless that maybe amendment, do an amendment, and amendment. then we have, to, and then we have to get approved <laughs> on the federal <laughs> yeah. level. Or, or, or it will end up in court. Well, no, no, I, no meant, I meant no, the, California is now independent. Uh, how, how would that, uh, how would that operate to make sure that a city could do something that the other city didn't have to do? Well, we would take it would take a re- well. The state constitution would not work for a fe- would not work for a federal gov- for a or for what would amount to a national government. Yeah. So it's going to have to it's going to have to be have to be at least at least revised. I mean, right. there's no, there's Did, no. Have the, you created one yet? Have you done something? Or? There are proposals. There's talks. We have a think tank. We have think tanks working on it. Yeah. Uh, we so one of the one of the groups we support is that one of the groups we also support is the is the Independent California Institute, which is which is made up of a lot of which is made up of people who are looking looking at all sides of this and it, and it includes our, our relationship with Mr. Kokesh yeah. over there and so forth, which is why we're here. A good example look at Switzerland. Because if anything takes over a country, it's the executive oh, branch. Right. They have almost no executive yeah. branch. President one year, elected by the seven states. Oh. And that way, the cantons are very independent. It's like you could have one do, does this and one does that. One of the things that we face that we face a lot of is it's like, well, California is just a lefty organization. That's just left, you know, it's leftist and this and that and the other thing. It's like, well, yeah, I mean, you may be right. But then again, if that's absolutely the absolute case, 
Why are you talking to me I, here? Okay, well, I have to disagree. Look, I look. think California is very right wing, extremely right wing. I'm a leftist. They're not. The original I, leftists the, were the libertarians. Well, we're the, defining, uh, yeah. The French Revolution. They sat on the left side. The libertine. The, the libertine, yeah. <laughs> no, libertarians. And they sat, uh, the authoritarians sat on the right. On the right. The, like I said, it's it's one of those, every time every time we talk about the, every time we talk about the labels of these know, of this group or that group, it gets crazy. It gets crazy. That's like that's why I did two charts in my book. Well, it's it's kind of it's kind of that thing that goes. Libert the libertarian platform sounds really good until you until you hit the Koch brothers. Why? What did they do? Basically, they married it. To, they married it to big business. They married it to business. They married it to the coal industry. No, they're not. See, that's what they don't like. Uh, people taking advantage of other people in the business community. Well, the idea they, is free what competition. The, what they didn't like was what they didn't like was being re, was being regulated. Well, you shouldn't be regulated. Coal. That's right. Regulations is a fascist uh, concept. Interesting. But that's what Hitler did. He regulated his country into bankruptcy. Well, the, and, and before the war, people were starving in Germany. I mean, uh, huge welfare state, huge warfare state. You can't do both. Uh, you know, I mean. My father-in-law ran into a German in 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 in, uh, in Venezuela. He lived down there, and he came from Germany because he was starving in the 30s. Mm -hmm. He tried to make uh, food out of chemicals because he was a chemical engineer. My father-in-law was also a chemical engineer. Said they were starving, and that's why he went into Austria and plundered. That's why he was in Czechoslovakia and plundered all the food, and then gave him socialized medicine. And according to my friend who lived there, okay, that's an interesting. The, the, the lines were a hundred people to get to a doctor. Before the Nazis, came, the National Socialists came in, he could sit in the, in the, in the in doctor's office and be a couple of people. But once the National Socialists came in, they nationalized everything. That's what I talk about. My that yeah, that's a. I, I find that a. I find that a bit of a twisted path, but. I. Well, I mean, almost everything Bernie says, Hitler said before. Remember the jobs guaranteed by government? He did that in the 30s. That's how he got the Autobahn done. He, he did big public works, massive public works. Oh, so you know, the, the stadium for the Olympics. Eisen, Eisenhower was a big proponent of a freeway system, but it didn't make him a Nazi. <laughs> no, no, but he didn't say the government guarantees you a job. That's what Bernie wants. He wants government guaranteed jobs for everyone. I, I'm not. I have Bernie. Been, Bernie wanted socialized medicine. Well, Hitler has socialized medicine. My my uh, discussion point on Bernie basically goes: I haven't heard him say word one word one about what he's going to do for the people of California. I haven't heard about California, but I heard he wanted rent control for the whole nation. Hitler did that in '33. I'm, I haven't. Like I said, I haven't heard. Um, everything social economics that the Democrats believe in, Hitler did already. The one, the one thing that the California Independence Movement points out, that points out in general goes. No matter what, left, right, or center, these candidates, all the candidates. Yeah. Whenever, whenever any of the candidates discuss California, nothing good. Okay. Nothing good. But what you have to do to get this done is uh, yeah, trying to be outside it. left and right. Well, we, and that's because what we're that's Because you're trying to establish a new country. Right. That's uh, hopefully more responsive to the people, well, and it should be more. It's it's one of those things where it's like, left, right, or center for Californians. Nobody really gives a shit who marries who. What do you mean? If gay people want to get married, it's like yeah. even, even the, well, yeah, only, on. only the only the well, extreme. Hillary started that movement back in the seventies. I even, was involved in it. Not even going to argue. Well, even the Democrats weren't well, uh, for gay uh, gay rights. Actually, we actually we have a we have a fairly good relationship with the San Francisco Gay Liberation Movement. Yeah. They might argue with you on that, but I'm um, but you know it's one of those. Well, but then again, on the other hand. Uh, those guys, so, some of those guys say they were Republicans at the time. Our first candidate um, for president was gay, uh, uh, John Hospers. His running mate was a Jew, well, a female Jew. And, you know, one was Hospers, one was they, well, you know. The point, we, the, the point we, is, it's a dis, it's a disconnect between even the conservatives in, in California and the conservatives in say, yeah. in, in say Georgia. Yeah. You know, where, where religion plays a plays a much bigger, yes. much bigger role in the stance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lefties in California, lefties in California, basically don't necessarily want the want to live on a on a borrowed income. It's like California tends to California tends to pay its bills, and especially almost did and had to borrow money from the federal government. Well, in, two, in 2010, down. in 2010 we did. In yeah. 2010 they did. Yeah. Yeah. They had no. They had no choice. We had no choice. They were. Well, the entire country was facing economic yeah. collapse at that moment. So. Yeah. 
but it's like for 30 years. I mean, basically since Reagan, California California has basically been a donor state, and it's and it's been state? a donor state between yeah. a hundred between a hundred between a hundred billion, and, and this year it's 69.8. Yeah. It's like we have people crunching numbers. Uh, <laughs> you know, this year it's 69.8. That not, it's like we have, we have homeless issues, we have we have homeless issues, infrastructure issues, school issues, what have you. Sure. Left right again, left, right, or center. That money, if that money's raised raised at home, it could be better spent at home. Or if, even if you want, argue it should be given back. Well, they're not. They they're getting a lot of money now for the homeless, but it's not getting to the homeless. Oh, it's well. I'm not. I don't know where it's going. I'm not <laughs> seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I'm not saying it. You're saying the money. The homeless, the, uh, no, the, no, I'm not saying the money that's coming for the, the money that's oh, coming for the homeless. Uh, San Francisco in the billions and, uh, for a couple of years, and and, uh, and uh, I don't know. I just when I went to Europe, I didn't see anybody I running guess. around like like this here, like they do in L.A. In the '90s, I I was actually like in bills? Europe in the '90s. That shortly after the wall yeah. fell, and actually there was a lot. There was a massive homeless problem. Oh, uh, I was over there a couple of years. Ago. Okay. Spain. And, uh, that's like oh, yeah. France and Germany. Some people argue. Some people argue it's going to be cyclical. Well, yeah. everything in economics is it's a wave. You know? I did right. one. I did a book on chaos theory. <laughs> Everything's a wave. They're not saying almost nothing is linear in this world. But like I said, it's like California these days. Basically, these days basically pays its own bills anyway. It's like well, we're we're paying it. We're paying an additional sixty nine. We have so much debt. Don't cover up the. What are you covering up our sign for? Never mind. I was going to do something that was controversial to attract people. There you go. Team. There you go. Okay. And it's anyway, going to go in the corner. And it's not well, going to... good luck. Are you going to do and a thank show you for, here and or what? Thank you for borrowing the pins. <laughs> okay. the pins. You can do a show or what? I'm not. Uh, they are. I'm not. I'm... Actually, could I address a few of the points you made real quick on, okay. on camera? Okay. Or actually, okay. would you? I, well, would, right here. Would you... We haven't filmed you. We've just been filming him. Uh, well, we're also going to be podcasting. We're filming me. You have been filmed this past 10 minutes. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, Nobody wants to see this face. To no, they do. Nobody wants to see this face. So I, I, just, I just want to point out a couple things. Um, you were making great points, sir. Number one, if we're talking about debt, America is in per capita more debt than California. So if a government is not a good government for being in debt, then you must immediately renounce your American citizenship and support California because that's that's the fact with the debt. Part of that debt is because we can this create like white paper, uh, uh, money it's, it's, and, it's and, and sell. It's be just, sure. I, I want to Does California do sell, a sell treasuries? Front of our no. See, that's where a lot of the, that comes from. So sure. Which you just admitted the debt is created primarily by the federal government and not California. Well, but if California became Simple its own country, it, it might do the same. It might. Yes, you're right. You have people in here who sure. don't know anything about economics who are running California. Sure, but you're talking about it might um, behave that way so when I'm talking about. I'm not having breakfast downstairs. Okay. Okay. All oh, countries oh, are on the brink of. I will close. I mean, bankruptcy. Maybe y'all want to join? Like, like it's in I have a trillion dollar yeah. bill. Well, no, no, no. I'm a trillionaire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they yeah. haven't even produced their. Uh, their uh, right. Uh, um, but we might. We, but. Uh, I believe you may have somebody. Oh, okay. Oh. Anyway. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, just to add to the I mean, points, though. America is in more debt than California, so if debt's an issue, uh, you must not support America. Secondly, when we look at the financial support of the federal government to California, we need to recall that, yes, the federal government did provide unemployment insurance benefits in the worst recession the world had seen in a century, using inflated dollars uh, that don't actually have the same real value of the money that California had been putting into the system over the last 30 years. Additionally, in uh, the recession under President Clinton and the recession under Democratic President Obama, two different California governors asked for a financial bailout, a.k.a. that assistance, and were told, tough. So when it actually came to financial emergencies, we were told twice, you're on your own. Secondly, when it comes to debt, America does worse than us. I think those are key points for all libertarians to be aware of. Thoughts, feelings? Oh. Tired of fake facts <laughs> being brought up? I hear you. Uh, no, no, no. It's, what, it's, it's more a question of... As much as much as as much as we're talking, nobody nobody is actually talking about the actual numbers or financing yet. The finances that are fa the finances that are facing California. Um, we have we have candidate we have candidates here for the presidency. 
and working to put forward libertarian ideas and ideals. And, I, and that is perfectly, you know, that is perfectly within their rights. The idea at this point is that so far we've met, so far we've met a lot of people with a lot of different opinions, and hopefully if they walk away from anything from us on this, it's that. You know, as crazy as crazy as they think we are, a lot. It's like we're actually here and we're talking. Yeah, we're here to talk. Yeah, you know, it's like we're here to talk and we're here to listen. To say that, to say that, you know, one of the key, one of the key, one of the key anti California, one of the key anti California independence points is, that's been brought up to us in the past has always been what about the red states what about the red what about the people in the red states what about the republicans what about the what about the people who, who disagree with disagree with the bulk of californians well is, who's going to listen to them who's going to talk to them well here we are right we're here talking right. we're here to talk we're here to listen we're it's like it's like People have been equating the California independence movement with as though it were some as though it were some sort of predisposed absolute left kind of kind of movement, and that's not that's not true. Californians Californians don't want an unbalanced budget. Californians don't care who gets to marry whom. Your your individual rights, Californians are, Californians generally fight for. Libertarians talk about that too. They're very, they say they're very proud of that. They're very proud of the idea that that gay, that basically the the ability of, of gay people to marry each other is a libertarian concept. I'm not even going to argue with this. Why would we argue with this? Okay, you can have credit for it, but nobody's arguing with you. <laughs> Into, you know, nobody, nobody, nobody here is arguing. It's like we don't. It's like we want a balanced budget. We want we want people to have individual rights. We want businesses to do well. We don't, but, and we and we don't want to necessarily pollute our environment. And we're willing to talk to everybody about it. So, so far as as much as people have accused us of been maybe a fringe organization or what have you we're the only one ready to seemingly ready to talk to everyone hold that thought hold that thought real quick there's a convention space people are still coming in but you can see some of the tables so how quick question for you um, is there any uh, other left liberal group oh here God. as a Libertarian Party <laughs> convention, or is Independent California literally this, the only person from the other side of the spectrum willing to come out and talk with Libertarians? Your opinion, sir? Well, as far as I can tell, we're the we're the only organization that's doing that. But 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 I will point I will point out that I've been argued with on I I have gotten into into very friendly arguments with a number of people where. They say that, li that libertarians are the true left, and the left is actually the right, and the right is actually the and and I'm nodding a lot, um, I, and I and I, I always come back to the same question. Should but should the money that's collected in California be spent in California? Should you know are we are we all in favor of individual rights? Are we all in favor of of smaller government? Are we all in favor because these points? I don't know. You know these are overarching points. So our our group is not is not designed to be left right center. These are, for lack of a better term, U.S. concepts. These are USA concepts. You, you agree, sir? Oh, just the red star. The red star. That's it. Red star. Yeah, you welcome it. I'm sorry. I, we're just speaking up and capture your audience. We're we're riffing at the moment. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, Jefferson said that uh, the best government. The bear battle star. The bear is yeah. And, and governs the least. Uh, no. That's the second one. Huh? That's the second one. Well, you know what? Um, so this is a different movement than the state of Jefferson. Actually, we've actually we're in we're we're talking to these people in the state of Jefferson. Okay. 
and the Cascadia movement. Um, and is the strategy it's, to uh, yeah, it's, it's, get it's California to secede and move out? The college of Battle of California. No, no, I've, 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 I've lived here. All, I lived here all my life, and I, I love this land, and I'm not going anywhere. If California seceded, wouldn't it just wouldn't it be the new communist state? To support no, um, no. Tell you this. No, the the real. I fly when, that flag when we when we talk about cities when, control everything, when, but when we talk when we talk about California, well, the cities own everything fly. everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. If you're in Georgia, fly. Atlanta is the, is the center we of everything. We already agree. If you're in, if you're in Illinois, it's Chicago. We're not going to pick a New York, New York, Nashville, Tennessee. You know, I remember when Larry ran for governor in New York. I fly the United States. I fly the United States flag only on July 28th at half mast. Every other day. Day. What's that? I fly the California flag. flag. Yeah. Uh, That's right. Mary's so libertarians definitely. are saying, I don't really even like the American flag, and I already fly the California flag. Is that right, sir? Did I get yes. That? Yes. What? Because I, I, what? the state should play more and more no, important role come on in back. our lives yeah. and then yeah, federal government. We're, 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 we'll be here all day. Exactly <laughs> what we agree with. And, and let me ask you this. Are you, do you consider yourself more an American or a Californian? I'm only an American until I leave the United States. No, I'm not an American until I leave the United States. Here, inside the United States, I'm a Californian. But like, let's say you go to Europe, you're on vacation, and stuff, uh, somebody says, uh, where are you from? Do you say I'm Californian or I'm, do you say I'm American? I'm from the United States. Okay. I'm American. Because our whole thing is, and we're talking to a lot of libertarians, is do you consider yourself more Californian or more American? We. Uh, consider ourselves. We we go foreign. We go. We're Californians. Okay. We're not. We're not. All right. <laughs> that that makes it clear. Oh, and and you know the response you get or throughout the world is yeah. totally different. If you say I'm American or California, California, it's like oh, you're from California. Oh. Great, we love it. We love it. You know. Okay. It, it's uh, we have a great image in the world uh, stage as California. Not so right. not so much as American anymore, unfortunately. Right. <laughs> not so much. So yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of things uh, uh, you know. We know you know Adam Kokesh. Uh, uh, I tried to correspond with him once. Yeah, he's uh, he never replied we, to me.